Hey guys, so today I just wanted to do a really quick video that I just saw um, April from Harker Beauty do, um, and that is the five most repurchased items tag. Um, so I figured this was kind of something that would be good to do because there are a few things that are just like absolute staples for me and I will continue to repurchase them most likely unless they're ever discontinued which would probably make me cry. So here we go. Um, first of all my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. No matter what other makeup I'm wearing I use this somehow. Um, I use it to prime my eyes, I use it under my eyes, um, it's just a fantastic concealer. This will last you a long time. Um, I've been using this a couple years now and I've gone through several tubes of it. I pretty much always use NW20. Works for me pretty much year round. And I just love it. So yeah, there's a reason so many people talk about it on YouTube. It's just an awesome concealer. And then my... Physician's Formula Lash Boosting Liquid Liner. Um, I don't know what I would do if this was discontinued ever. Um, this is just an amazing liquid liner. It's the only eyeliner that has ever lasted on my upper lash line. Um, yeah, nothing else does. I've tried waterproof gel liners and they just like kind of irritate my eyes and then smudge even if they're waterproof. Um, so yeah, this is just an absolutely amazing liquid eyeliner and I love it. And the next thing would have to be my beauty blender. Um, these things also last a long time. If you don't use it every single day, it's going to last you longer. However, I do use mine every single day basically, unless I'm not wearing makeup at all, which is rare. Um, for some reason, this one got beat up a little bit faster and I think it was because of my L'Oreal um, Pro Matte Foundation. That was really rough on it so I did stop using it with that foundation and right now I can't really really use um, that foundation now anyway since I'm self tanning but yes these are amazing I continue to repurchase them I do have two that will be coming soon from Nordstrom because um, that was the only place I could find the two pack right now which is really weird I don't know why but um, yeah the two pack is a much better deal and I'm kind of hoping they're not like discontinuing that kind of thing because that would make them a little bit too pricey. But um, yeah, love my beauty blenders. And then Cover FX Powder Foundation is pretty much a staple for me, which I do kind of want to find a cheaper alternative. So I may try the Everyday Minerals Foundation again, um, which I used a little bit back in college, and Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom talks about it a lot. Um, but I have used up most of the lighter shade N20, and then this is N25 um, that I use now while I'm self tanning. It's just awesome powder foundation, good for sensitive skin, good for oily skin. Um, I have a backup of N20, and I do might get a backup of N25. Um, when they have the VIB sale, but yeah, I love this stuff. So, I mean, I've repurchased it at least, what's that, three times? Um, so it's a really great powder foundation and I love it. I do use that over my foundation just to add like a little bit more coverage. And then my Scandinavia makeup setting spray. Um, I do get this from Scandinavia.com. And I always wait till they have a 20% off, which they did just recently, but I didn't order any this time because I have quite a bit left. Um, but I always get the 8 ounce bottle, it's about $39, and just wait till the 20% off, and you get a lot more for your money than you do with, like, say, the Urban Decay one. So, yeah, I really love this. I spray it all over after my makeup, takes away any powdery look, and helps everything lock in and last all day. So that is definitely a staple for me. And I've purchased it many times. So then, um, I know that was already five, but when I put this thing on a little bit ago, I just had to throw it in as kind of a bonus, I guess. It does make it more than five, but um, 
if I use if I wore this as much as I'd like to, I would be on like I don't know, like my tenth one or something. <laughs> but this is only my second, um, and I do need to get a third soon. And that is Mac Cream Cup lipstick. Um, it's just the perfect light everyday pink, and the smell is just heavenly. It just smells like vanilla. It's just amazing. It smells so good. <laughs> um, I think like being pregnant, being able to smell things even more, like makes it just. Oh, uh, uh, I'm like congested too. But um, I can still really smell it. I just love the smell. Just, yeah, just love it. Okay, so that is it for this video. I don't think I have anything else to say unless I just blabber on and on. So, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up with the button below. And yeah, I will see you in my next video very soon. Oh, breath tag people. Um, I tag, I think I thought of like five people that I was gonna tag. So I tag Lishology, Wanna Makeup, Kristen K from the Kristen K channel, um, Blushing Shades, Blushing Shades of Beauty, and Melanie, if you watch this. Um, Melanie from Mr. Kong's Mom. It seems like something that will be right up your alley. Um, so I would love to see those five lovely ladies do this video and anybody else if you make videos be sure to do this video and let me know that you did in the comments below. And if you don't make videos just let me know some of your most repurchased makeup items. I would love to know and I'd love, love to get um, ideas for things to try. So yeah, let me know. So I think that is all and I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye guys.